Intellivent ASV. Reduce complexity. More time and safety for your patient. Intellivent ASV is the world's first and only complete closed-loop ventilation solution for oxygenation and ventilation, covering all applications from intubation through extubation with the known simplicity from Hamilton Medical. Intellivent is the culmination of 18 years of research and is based upon ASV technology available only from Hamilton Medical. ASV, Adaptive Support Ventilation, provides significant technology advancements over conventional ventilation modes. ASV is the first step toward a fully closed loop ventilation solution. ASV already enables automatic lung protective strategies from intubation through extubation, encouraging spontaneous breathing for early weaning and reduced time on the ventilator. ASV has been the subject of many studies over several years. These studies have shown that ASV is safe, provides more synchrony between the ventilator and patient, and reduces length of stay. ASV was the first step on the way to Intellivent ASV, the world's first fully closed loop solution. Unlike conventional modes, which require you to set many parameters manually, Intellivent ASV makes ventilatory adjustments safely and automatically. What makes Intellivent ASV so revolutionary? During conventional mechanical ventilation, the clinician has to assess the physiological status of the patient and then determine the individual settings of the ventilator. The ventilator is simply delivering what the clinician ordered at the time of their observation, with no adjustments being made as the patient's physiology changes. With Intellivent ASV, the clinician is still crucial, but has a new role. He monitors the patient's condition and then observes and decides the patient's therapy goals. Intellivent ASV then automatically and continuously assesses the physiological status of the patient, measuring lung mechanics, FiO2 and ETCO2, and applies the ideal and optimal ventilation and oxygenation. So the patient gets the optimal tidal volume, respiratory rate, pressure, FiO2 and PEEP. With Intellivent ASV's automation of ventilation and oxygenation, the need for manual adjustments made by the clinician are greatly reduced. This means the clinician will spend less time making routine adjustments on the ventilator. This also ensures that the patient is always being ventilated with the proper oxygenation and ventilation settings. Intellivent ASV translates into improved patient care and reduces stress and clinical workload, which are currently major issues in daily ICU care. Why do we need Intellivent ASV? What is the motivation to create a closed-loop system? To understand these reasons, we need to look at the world around us. Today, conventional mechanical ventilation continues to require clinical expertise and manual adjustment of ventilator settings. This can be challenging and stressful, as a respiratory expert can't be at the bedside all the time. 80% of all adjustments are routine modifications. Intellivent ASV automatically applies comprehensive lung protective strategies, reduces the risk of operator errors, and encourages early weaning. It continuously adapts to patient conditions and reacts in case of sudden changes. The world around us is changing. Since the 1950s, the world's population has continued to grow rapidly. Not only is the population growing, but it is also becoming older. With improvements in hygiene, food quality and improved health care, the population curve shows the numbers and proportion of the population which is elderly is increasing. This change has resulted in an older population, which will place pressure on social services as well as health care systems. An aging population will potentially increase the incidence of lung disease. The treatment of the increased patient population will create significant pressure on resources such as ICU beds and caregivers. 
the treatment of lung diseases is challenging and time-consuming. An increase in the demand for clinicians and medical resources will likely lead to a situation where healthcare systems will not be able to fulfill this demand. Studies completed over the past 10 years have clearly shown an increase in population but a stabilization in the number of clinicians. To close this gap, we need to provide solutions that will decrease the workload at the bedside for the medical staff. Increasing the availability of staff bedside. We spend less time discussing ventilator settings now. Before, this often used up time during the ward rounds in the morning. We also find the ASV target graphics screen interesting because it gives us a visual representation of the patient's lung mechanics. Dr. Med Ralph Ensner talking about ASV. Safety, quality and outcomes are the three most important pillars of care within a hospital. These aspects of care provide potential for caregivers to improve. Intellivent ASV can help and ventilate patients in a safe way due to the individually set alarms using the evidence-based protocols. From the start of the first studies through the current use of Intellivent ASV, the safety and quality of the care provided has been proven. Safety, quality and patient outcomes are the three most important pillars of care within a healthcare system. These three pillars are continuously monitored and hospitals are always looking for ways to improve them. Intellivent ASV can assist by ventilating patients safely, by keeping patients ventilated within safe physiological parameters using evidence-based protocols. From its introduction and continuing today, Intellivent ASV has been proven to be safe and an improvement in the quality of care. Intellivent ASV helps physicians reduce the potential for mistakes and errors in a clinical study, patients with changing lung conditions spent more time within an optimal ventilation range using automatic Intellivent ASV than patients in the manually controlled group with conventional ventilation. Prior to the study, acceptable and suboptimal zones of ventilation parameters like tidal volume, SpO2, ETCO2 and inspiratory pressure were determined. Who will benefit from Intellivent ASV? Intellivent ASV will provide support to physicians in hospitals and in some medical centers, Intellivent ASV can support the staff by providing automatic ventilation adjustments so that manual adjustments are not necessary. This will allow the clinician to spend more time on treating the patient, knowing that Intellivent ASV will ventilate their patients according to their protocols. In hospitals that require more clinical assistance or in underdeveloped countries, Intellivent ASV will ventilate patients according to the accepted guidelines in mechanical ventilation. Intellivent controls ventilation and oxygenation. How do the oxygenation and ventilation controllers work? The ventilation, or CO2 removal, is based on ETCO2, or the respiratory rate. First, the physician will decide on a range where they want the patient's ETCO2 to fall. If they want to increase CO2 removal and thus have lower ETCO2 levels, they can set the controller offset to the minus. The target ETCO2 area will then shift to the left. If ETCO2 is too low, the offset will be put to the right. The ability to change the offset allows physicians to take circulatory and metabolic state into consideration and adjust the automated therapy goals. If during mechanical ventilation there are no spontaneous patient-triggered breaths, the ventilation controller will use the ETCO2 range as a primary input. Once a patient has spontaneous breathing activity, the bar below the ETCO2 bar becomes visible and will gray out the ETCO2 bar. In this case, when the patient is getting a high respiratory rate, the minute volume will increase in order to decrease the patient's own work of breathing. If the level of spontaneous breathing decreases, Intellivent ASV will further promote spontaneous breathing by decreasing the minute volume slowly.
to get a higher ETCO2. If the spontaneous activity continues to decrease, the built-in safety measure of the ETCO2 controller takes over. Oxygenation is based on PEEP and FiO2. PEEP to create open alveoli for oxygen uptake and FiO2 because oxygen needs are increased during a disease. At the start of Intellivent ASV, the physicians determine the range of desired SaO2. When the saturation drops, FiO2 and or PEEP will be increased. This depends on the current settings of PEEP and FiO2 compared to the ARDS network PEEP FiO2 table. The light blue zone is the zone where the PEEP and FiO2 controller are active according to the ARDS network tables. This will be explained a few slides later. When saturation drops dramatically, the SaO2 will enter the dark blue zone and the safety algorithm of Intellivent ASV will set the FiO2 to 100% and give a high priority alarm. Any increase or decrease in therapy is visible through the arrows next to the controllers and the timers. The timers provide a clear overview about when events will happen. Overall, the oxygenation and ventilation controllers function according to currently used guidelines in order to support the physicians in their daily work. Studies of the ARDS network tables have been summarized and used to create the working principle for Intellivent ASV. In the case of desaturation, the ventilator will optimize SpO2 by adjusting FiO2 and or PEEP, depending on where the patient's FiO2 and PEEP fall in the table. Intellivent ASV algorithms follow two commonly used guidelines in its decision-making routines. ARDSnet for increasing therapy and the open lung concept for decreasing therapy. The open lung strategy has been studied and validated for many years by several groups, like Professor Lachman, Slutsky and Gattanoni. The open lung concept is based on the fact that a collapsed lung will result in desaturation, while an open lung doesn't require high levels of oxygen. The mechanics behind open lung is to first lower the FiO2 and then reduce PEEP in order to maintain an open lung. This safe and proven method provides maximum safety and follows the ventilation strategy of experts worldwide. Evidence-based medicine is the basis for day-to-day -day care. Using evidence-based guidelines helps reduce mistakes and improve patient outcomes. This study is the basis of how Intellivent makes judgments about PEEP and FiO2 settings once a patient is desaturating. Studies demonstrate adoption of evidence-based guidelines, such as the ARDS network PEEP FiO2 recommendations, has not been widely adopted and difficult to consistently implement. With Intellivent ASV, evidence-based guidelines are continuously implemented by the ventilator and reduce the workload of the clinician. How does this look in daily practice? If a patient is desaturating, saturation level is represented by the red line. The FiO2 and PEEP controller will gradually increase incrementally by 1 cm H2O for PEEP and by 10% of the current setting for FiO2. For example, if the FiO2 is currently at 30%, it will be increased to 33%. These incremental adjustments in PEEP and FiO2 are based on the ARDS network table. Click and the ARDS table will appear and disappear. If O2 saturation is below target, PEEP and FiO2 are increased simultaneously per the ARDS network lower PEEP FiO2 table. When the saturation of the patient starts to increase again, the FiO2 is decreased first and then followed by decreases in PEEP following the open lung concept. The PEEP controller has the ability to increase and decrease PEEP in cases of desaturation or high saturation. The controller will increase PEEP settings in 1 cm increments every 6 minutes in cases of low saturation. 
Through evidence-based implemented protocols, the oxygenation controller knows when to increase PEEP and or FiO2. In cases where the saturations are higher than the required saturation, the PEEP controller will decrease PEEP when allowed based again on the evidence-based medicine guidelines. Intellivant ASV relies on the ETCO2 and SPO2 signal. The signal can be affected by many influences. Therefore, we have implemented quality indexes to provide a clear overview of signal quality. If signal quality is deteriorating, the bars will change color. If the signal quality is too low, the controller will be frozen and the most recent settings will be used. In this situation, the ventilator will also alarm visually and audibly. For specific patients where physicians want to limit PEEP, they have the option to do so with the PEEP limit control, as high PEEP settings can be detrimental to hemodynamic performance and the patient's condition. In these circumstances, PEEP is creating an intrathoracic pressure that is suppressing the cardiac output. This results in lower blood pressure and reduced perfusion. On the other hand, physicians also have the possibility to set a minimum amount of PEEP. Intellivant ASV settings are providing maximum flexibility for different patient populations and local practice. However, with Intellivant, hemodynamic performance is continuously monitored and the HLI, heart-lung interaction index, will automatically optimize PEEP. Because the HLI takes hemodynamics into consideration when determining the appropriate PEEP settings, high intrathoracic pressures can be avoided, guaranteeing more safety in mechanical ventilation than ever before. The thoracic cage is a closed system by the diaphragm. Heart and pulmonary are together in one compartment. During mechanical ventilation, the ventilator creates positive pressure in this cage. The heart is also creating positive pressure, blood pressure, to get blood with oxygen delivered to the periphery. In normal circumstances, the heart is able to overcome the positive pressure in the thoracic cage and creates an acceptable blood pressure. The thoracic cage is a closed system by the diaphragm. Heart and pulmonary are together in one compartment. During mechanical ventilation, the ventilator creates positive pressure in this cage. The heart is also creating positive pressure, blood pressure, to get blood with oxygen delivered to the periphery. In normal circumstances, the heart is able to overcome the positive pressure in the thoracic cage and creates an acceptable blood pressure. With Intellivant ASV, the changes in intrathoracic pressure and the effects on hemodynamics are monitored. This makes ventilation safer and provides better knowledge about the patient's hemodynamic performance. The heart-lung interaction is measured by the plethysmograph. With the clear overview of the dynamic lung, users can easily determine if the PEEP setting is negatively affecting the patient's hemodynamics. The picture of the heart will also change color and shape rhythmically when circulation is suppressed by at least 15% and the PEEP will be decreased to 8 if the HLI is activated. In normal circumstances, a patient has a normal and strong cardiac output. The signal of the pulse oximeter is stable and shows no changes in pop max and pop min. The larger the difference between pop max and pop min, the higher the HLI. The changes in pop max and pop min show the actual changes in intrathoracic pressure or heart condition, as has been described in the former four slides. The normal patient course is initial deterioration in respiratory status requiring full ventilator support. After this phase, the lung conditions improve and the patient becomes more stable. During the stable phase, the ventilator settings can be decreased and the patient can be assessed for readiness to wean. Weaning is an important phase prior to being extubated and transferred from the ICU ward. The process of weaning consists of three phases, decreasing support, training and testing, and extubation. The patient must pass both prior phases for a successful extubation. 
Training and testing can be completed by decreasing pressure support and then undergoing a T-piece trial. A T-piece trial doesn't provide any monitoring, data, alarming or trending and is potentially dangerous. Some others may use a spontaneous breathing trail and just decrease the support to 5 cm H2O and observe the patient's SpO2 and performance. Are they getting tired? Is their breathing frequency getting too high? Is the heart rate increasing? Both methodologies leave much to assumptions and estimations and can lead to re-intubation and extended ventilator days. However, with IntelliVent's quick wean feature, clinicians will have the ability to monitor and trend the complete weaning process. What we see here is the vent status screen that comes with the activation of quick wean. Certain evidence-based weaning parameters are put in the vent status. To the right is the additional panel, which is providing an overview of parameters during the last phase of the quick wean, called the SBT, or Spontaneous Breathing Trail. During the first step of quick wean, the ventilator will monitor the patient and observe certain criteria like P-support, PEEP, FiO2, ETCO2, SpO2, and percentage F spot. If all parameters are within the limits, the ventilation controller will start to gradually decrease the percentage minval in order to start to test the patient. Once all of the conditions are fulfilled, the minute volume controller will gradually decrease support to as low as 70%. When the patient is able to maintain his or her wean screen criteria, the ventilator transitions to the next step, which is the spontaneous breathing trail. The three stages of the quick wean functionality within IntelliVent ASV are graphically displayed differently to highlight the different stages of the ventilator support and make the caregiver graphically aware of the active weaning of their patient. When the patient has met the conditions for a certain user-defined time, the last step will follow, called the SBT. Once the SBT has started, the percentage minval is decreased to a default of 25%. If the patient becomes tired and ends up outside of the wean screen limits, the ventilator will increase the support in order to provide maximum safety during the weaning phase. With quick wean, the users will receive a clear overview of the performance of their patients during weaning. Safety is increased due to monitoring and trending. Intellivent ASV with quick wean is the complete package, taking care of patients from intubation through extubation with maximum ease of use and safety for your patients. Intellivent ASV reduces complexity by giving guidance on complex decision making, visualizing complex information in an intuitive way, implementing and supporting protocolized care. Intellivent ASV. How safe is it? Intellivent ASV is very safe. Automation of minute volume ensures the end tidal CO2 will be arranged within safe ranges, set by the physician. Minute volume is regulated between 5 and 14 LPM, with an IBW of 70 kilograms. Hamilton Medical's proven technology, Adaptive Support Ventilation, ASV, is the basis of IntelliVent ASV and using the safe window to visualize the limitation of VT, Pmax alarm and RR based on the expiratory time constant of a specific patient. The alarms of ETCO2 and minute volume make the ventilation of your patient even safer. The information about the ventilation status of your patient can be obtained into the ventilation horizon and the breathing map. The interaction between hemodynamics and ventilation is one of the safety features of IntelliVent ASV. The oxygenation controller is changing the PEEP and or FiO2 settings. In order to react quickly to rapid desaturation, the FiO2 controller will respond quickly and provide an immediate rise in FiO2 at 100%. Minimum settings of FiO2 is 30%. And for the PEEP, it is 5 cm H2O. Maximum PEEP will be 25 cm H2O in IntelliVent ASV. The maximum PEEP can be set by the user. When the HLI is greater than 15%,
the PEEP controller will decrease PEEP to 8 cm H2O. Intellivent ASV, the reliable and easy to use fully closed loop solution for everyday use.